New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo tried to convince young people to get vaccinated by saying this. There is an attitude that they'll be fine. Why should they take the vaccine? Maybe you go home and kiss your grandmother and wind up killing your grandmother. I did nothing wrong, and uh, period. And I'm not resigning. Well, I remember that, having to listen to that every day. Uh, but did anyone in the media report on those comments from the same man in the middle of the nursing home scandal that cost so many seniors their lives? How about 13 to 15,000 elderly lives? Nobody did. Here to react is Fox News contributor and media opinion columnist for The Hill, Joe Concha. Hey, Joe. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Good morning. What's your reaction, knowing that he's in the middle of this investigation and this scandal, yet he's saying that about kissing your grandmother? Yeah, chutzpah, right? It's the only word that comes to mind. How many grandparents did Andrew Cuomo kill when he decided to put COVID-positive patients back into nursing homes? Even a 10-year-old knows that you don't do that in that situation. When he had the USS Comfort, when he had the Javits Center that the Trump administration had given him, and he decided to go ahead with the nursing homes. And then worse was the cover-up that his own aides have admitted to was done in order to get a book deal across the finish line, a book deal that made Andrew Cuomo very rich. But most of the media, Ainsley, has moved on. They're quite apathetic. It reminds me of Governor Ralph Northam in Virginia, where everybody thought he was toast, and he just put his head down and let the news cycle take everything out to sea, and then suddenly there was nothing to see here anymore. And the fact that it was covered 0, 0.0 seconds by all those news organizations shows that they're serving at the pleasure of the Democratic Party. And believe me, if this was Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida that happens to have an R next to his name, you would be hearing about this nonstop. So here we have Andrew Cuomo still blaming Donald Trump for his problems, which is quite ironic when you consider that it's a Democratic attorney general in Tish James that's running one of the two investigations into the nursing home scandal right now. But here's the bad news if you're rooting against Andrew Cuomo. Siena poll shows that 57 percent of New York Democrats believe that he is doing a good job. Right. That tells him he could run again for reelection and he could win possibly a fourth term. Yeah. But Lee Zeldin is going to pose a very very formidable challenge, that's for sure. But right now, he should be in much worse shape, but the media protecting him has buoyed his numbers a little bit, and that is just pathetic, guys. Not right. just media, but uh, social media as well. You know, later today, we're going to find out whether or not uh, Donald Trump is allowed back on Facebook. Um, that, that's going to come out later on today. But yesterday, uh, the former president launched a new website. It's from the desk of Donald Trump. And essentially what he's able to do is he's able to put out statements, uh, video comments, things like that. But unlike social media, there won't be a lot of interaction. What do you think about this way, how the former president is kind of in going around the social media companies to get the word out? It's a start, right? It's it's a souped up blog, you could call it, I guess. Um, it's a way to get his message out, to your point, uh, and obviously go through the, or go around anyway, the, the filter of the mm -hmm. media. But I think uh, he has to bring it up to another level, quite frankly, guys. I'd like to see the president launch probably a podcast, which would be a, a very good way uh, for him to talk about items of the day, particularly uh, the Biden administration and their moves in terms of unraveling everything that he had accomplished uh, mm -hmm. during his four years. Hearing the voice of the president would be better. I know there's a video element to this, but I think a podcast would really serve the president but, well here. But, but that Joe, Facebook announcement yeah. this morning. Yeah, go ahead, Brian. I uh, just saying that if they podcast, would they cover it? Would Apple put it up? Would Spotify be able to carry it? Would, uh, you know, iTunes be able to carry it? Most likely no, right? And, and, and that's what we're going to hear from Facebook, I would imagine, this morning, that the ban will continue because... Facebook, just like many in the media, serve at the pleasure of the Democratic Party. And look, when you say, well, how could Facebook get away with this? Well, they're a private business. Right. And the bottom line is that their bottom line is very good. Facebook's stock is up 100 points. If you look at May 5th, 2020, compared to now, that's more than a 50% jump. And before anybody says, well, they got to be broken up. Well, who's going to do that exactly? You have a Democratic House, a Democratic Senate, and a Biden administration that is gratefully indebted to Facebook for all the help they gave good them point. during the campaign as did Twitter, so we're not going to see too much action as far as breaking up these companies or Section 230 uh, being uh, okay. at least amended or removed at this point because there's no incentive to do so. Okay. Thanks so much, Joe.